All right, uh, final video of my little series on uh, the uh, Pascal to JavaScript compiler. And uh, in this video, I will be covering the, uh, the image data and get image data and put image data commands. Uh, if you're uh, familiar with the uh, old school Borland graphics interface, these were similar commands, the uh, get image, put image, uh, to grab certain parts of the screen, store them in a buffer, and display them in a different part of the screen. And this does pretty much the same thing. Um, let's just look at our usual HTML file. Like always, I have a canvas defined here, 300 by 300 pixels. And uh, if we go to our source here, what's new is our image data structure here or record or class i'm not quite sure what it is but it's a it's a structure used for the uh, get image and put image data commands we have our usual canvas and the context variable and as always uh, we initialize our canvas and get our context uh, to the canvas Here's some links to additional information on the uh, put image data command, image data, and get image, get image data command. Um, in this uh, area here, we fill the screen uh, with the uh, color green, and we draw a smaller uh, square color red, and we put hello world, our standard greeting there. And uh, Here's our image data commands. So this is the way uh, we allocate the memory. Uh, so we use the uh, image data structure with the uh, new parameter here, and we specify the width and height. Now there is an alternative uh, third method that you specify uh, an array basically with pre-filled image data, but I'm not going to cover that, but you know it's good to know that it's there, and you can look it up yourself, maybe in a future video at some point. But just to keep things simple, we're only allocating uh, some memory here, and uh, in order to get that memory, to get that image into the memory, we use our image data equals ctx get image data command. So we specified the coordinates here, zero zero, and width and height. And using the put image data command, we, we displayed it in a different portion of the canvas. So let's uh, just compile this and uh, check our browser and uh, see what happens. So let's just refresh. And here we go. So this is what we initially drew. And uh, we stored it in our uh, image data. And then we displayed it a little further down. So let's go back and uh, there's some more additional things you can do. So when you allocate the, uh, the memory using the uh, image data, uh, it actually puts everything in a data, a data array. Let's um, uncomment this out. So the data is stored in this array here. So this is basically uh, width height times four. There's a red, green, blue, and alpha channel uh, ranging from zero to 255. So whatever the image is, you can man manipulate each pixel by accessing the data here. So I'm using a for loop to go through each of the uh, elements in the array. And I'm doing a, a little, just a little random arithmetic here. I'm taking 128 and ending it with whatever contents it has in there. It should create something else. And let's see what happens when we do that. Now, if we reload this, so we get almost you know, the same image, but slightly different colors. And if we zoom in, we could actually see that uh, 
it, it looks the quality looks a little worse here but it's definitely a different color so we've managed to change the colors in some other data uh, by manipulating each index each uh, element of the array now uh, there's more information on Mozilla's site on what you can do but basically this is a way of m manipulating each pixel in the in the image so you could do all kinds of things uh, you could create borders you could lighten or darken the image uh, all kinds of stuff uh, a little too much for me uh, to explain here uh, but it's good to know that it's available and you can look it up and uh, finally uh, I'm gonna with the, the get and put image data we don't need the window unload um, callback but it's here if you intend to use something else that does need it and again it works the same way I'll comment this out and just to prove that it works I'll recompile everything and if we go back to our browser reload yeah everything works the same way so that's it for this video and this series if you've learned something or if you enjoyed this uh, please leave a comment subscribe uh, let me know either way thank you